Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Anastasia. I'm a social media manager and I help mompreneurs and busy female entrepreneurs really attract their ideal client and build their community through intentional engagement and strategic planning. So I appreciate you hopping on this video and viewing this video and showing me love because I really have some useful information for you guys. So if you're new and you haven't done it already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and make sure you click that notification bell so that you know each and every time I post. So you guys, in today's video, I will be going through the Trello board. So I get a lot of questions about how I stay organized or how I plan my content or even batch create my content because I like to do that on the weekends or my little one asleep. So I will jump right into my Trello board and show you guys exactly how to create a board so you can stay on top of your content and won't feel stressed and overwhelmed. Like to plan week by week 
Um, I try to plan out two weeks in advance for my content. Um, depending on my clients, it just depends. Maybe I'll do a month, maybe I'll do two weeks, maybe I'll do a week. So it just depends on my client. But for me personally, I like to try to shoot for two weeks uh, of content, batch creating my content. So when I'm batch creating, for the month of June, I like to write down, hmm, what type of holidays come up in June so that I can create a specific graphic for it. So for June 19th is June 9th, June 10th. On June 20th, that's Father's Day. And I'm not sure of any other holiday in June, but yes, these are the two that I have here. And then I will go and create a list called Brain Dump. And here I will dump all of my ideas that I have um, within my head or like let's say on the whim because Trello does have an app. So you can download the app and if you're out and about and you have an idea that pops into your head, you can quickly jot it down into Trello. And it's just such an amazing P, like project management system. So yes. Then I go into my weeks, you guys. Week one, week two, week three, and week four. And for this, you guys, I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump onto my other board so I can show that to you guys. One moment. All right, you guys, I am in my content creation board. Um, this is a copy of my content creation board, but it's exactly what this looks like, but with content filled in. Um, so I do have a to-do list that I'm sorry I didn't mention on the other board But I do like to make a quick to-do list So if I'm out and about or maybe if I think of something to do like oh man I have to create hashtags for Friday's post or I have to create an image for Thursday's post or make sure that I reach out to this particular Influencer or Instagrammer to see if we could collab or something whatever the idea may be then I write that in my to-do list so Moving on, this is my brain dump section, and as you can see, I have a lot of ideas, and they won't probably necessarily move into a post, but it can be inspiration for another post. So I can go into detail um, within that idea, or whatever the case may be. You guys know what a brain dump is. So I dump any random ideas or thoughts that I have right into here. I do have the holidays, like I said, Juneteenth and Father's Day. And I showed you guys how to add that cover to the Trello board. So if you guys want to be creative so that it can be aesthetically pleasing, you guys can go ahead and do that. And here are my weeks. So for week one, I have the week of May 31st. Week two is the week of June 7th, so on and so forth. And I like to keep it that way so I won't lose track. And within each week list, I have the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I like to add them to my list. So for Monday's post, I do have this example or this template. And to make a card a template, there is a button here that says make a template. That way, this particular card can become the template for all of your other um, cards. So let me show you how it works. I already have a template made, which is over here. I'll get into resources another time, you guys, because I don't want to confuse content planning and onboarding processes with this video. So I'll get that into that in another video. But I have this as a template already. So if I needed an Instagram template made, I go ahead and click. I don't know if y'all saw that. This little button down here is like a double window. Go ahead and click on that. And it'll pop up any templates that you have already created. So I want to make a new card from this template. It will tell me, hey, you want to create this card and you want to keep the label on it, which is Instagram. Let's say no, I don't want to keep the label. Push create card. And it will add it to the last, as the last card in the list. So you can drag it up to Monday, under Monday. Or you can drag it to Tuesday or whatever day you feel like you need that template for. So let's go back into the example post. In the description, uh, let's talk about labels. So in the labels, 
Here to the right is where you'll find your labels. So I create labels for carousel posts, YouTube, Instagram single posts, IG reels, or TikToks. I like to label my information so that I know what content goes where. So I like to use those labels to keep track and this follow-up one is actually helpful for me and my clients. So on my clients board, if it's something that I have to go back to, then I'll just push this yellow follow-up label and it really sticks out to me when I'm viewing their board. That way I know that there's something um, to go back and do. Or I always tell my clients when they leave a comment down here um, in activities, then just push the follow-up label so that I can go back and read exactly what they put. Um, I just, that's just how I do it. You guys don't have to do it that way, but it works for me and my clients, so yes. Moving on to the description. Here is kind of like a layout of my description box. So I have a summary of what either the YouTube video or the post is going to be about. I have the captions options, so if I have multiple captions or multiple lines, I'm trying to figure out what to, which one to post on Instagram, which one to post as a reel, or whatever it may be, those are my caption options. I have a call to action, so the call to actions will be, hey, click the link in my bio, or if you're ready to join, or if you need some help, whatever the call to action may be, I will put it here, or maybe a couple of options here. And then the hashtag bank that I'm going to use for that particular post, I will copy and paste it into here. And if my photo is connected in some way to my YouTube video, then I will list the YouTube video name or vice versa. If it's a YouTube video that's connected to a post, then I'll do that as well. All right, you guys, and the last list on my board after my weeks is gonna be hashtags. Here I paste all my hashtags from my hashtag research right underneath that hashtag list. That way it's a lot easier, it's all in one section. I don't have to go and hunt for it. If I have, um, I don't know, uh, Reels or Instagram TV that I forgot to make a hashtag list for or a hashtag set for, I'll just go into my hashtag research um, list here and I'll pull a couple in. Yeah, it'll be, it's a lot easier. So you guys, hopefully all of that information was helpful. I know I kind of skimmed through it really quickly, but I just wanted to give a quick rundown of how you can utilize Trello to really batch create your content and really have it be a useful task manager as well as project management system. If you guys want me to go through how to create the Trello covers or even how my onboarding process goes with my Trello board, just let me know and I'll make a video for you guys with that. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that every single time I post, you guys will know about it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.